Uh, my name's Darren Kent, um, and our film is Abusing Protocol. Um, and my role in that, I am one of the lead actors, but I'm also the writer and the director. And the film has two worlds that run parallel. Um, the first one is my character, his name's RJ, and basically his brother dies. Um, he's got no other dependents, so he ends up um, living with his brother's friends. Um, but little does he know that they're actually drug barons, if you like, and these sort of small-time gangsters. Um, so very quickly you see that my character gets roped up into a world of abuse and drugs. Um, and then, of course, parallel to that, you've got this local businessman um, who's having sort of the, the year from hell. His wife leaves him, he, um, he loses his job. Um, and basically, a, a couple of times in the film, you'll see that my world and the local businessman's world cl collides a couple of times. Um, and the story sort of is, is around us both helping each other out of our own mess, um, but with quite huge consequences. Yeah, basically, um, it took me 10 months to write because um, we were sending it back and forth to experts just to get the green light. Um, it took the team two months to produce. Um, then it was a 28 day shoot, which was stretched out over six months. Um, and then we've been in the edit for 171 days, um, which was spread out over a year and a half. Um, and then two years and 11 months uh, brings us up to date. So I've been waiting a long time for this. <laughs> I think the festival itself, it gives so many low budget films or independent films such a, it gives us a chance, you know, and it's, it's, the, it's the smaller festivals, I think, that help platform the, the guys that are coming through, um, the, the next generation of filmmakers. Um, and I think that is vitally important. I mean, obviously for us to have our world premiere on our doorstep, that means more than getting maybe a, a screening at Cannes or you know Berlin or Woodstock. Um, so for us, we're overwhelmed um, with the festival, and I think every year you feel it's, get, it's getting bigger and bigger, and it sort of feels like the Festival of Essex. I don't want to disrespect Colchester or any of the other smaller ones that are, that are doing well as well, um, but Southend's really getting a name for itself, and I think it's certainly on the map now um, as a uh, quite an important festival for, for England um, and obviously when you can encourage people like Ray Winston to be patrons and other names and I think a lot of people now are wanting to get more involved and that means a hell of a lot to me.